If you watched my video last Thursday, you will have seen as I walked away from the coastline that the post sunset light was beautiful and I knew that I had to return to the same location again a few days later to try and capture it. I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking, Kim, why didn't you just take that photograph on the night? The sunset was beautiful. You had lovely colours, lovely reflections. And in some ways, you know, maybe I should have done. But I think that a whole purpose of that video last week was to showcase this idea of slowing down, immersing yourself in nature, being patient and waiting for the photograph. And that night I was so inspired and enjoying that scene in front of me the leading line in the rock and also the, the the shapes in the rock as well and i actually quite enjoyed just spending my last 15 20 minutes here just watching the sunset watching the post sunset light and looking around me for potential composition opportunities for when i came back today so that i can do the same thing again i guess just immerse myself in nature really enjoy being here and because i already have a few potential places that i want to go to take that image it's allowing me not to have to feel under pressure tonight to look for those places and like i say it allowed me to enjoy just the conditions and being out last week without the pressure of getting an image and sometimes stepping back from your camera and just enjoying what's going on around you is one of the best feelings and best things about being outdoors doing photography so with all that said let's head back up the hill over there and try and find some interesting foreground interest interesting composition so that when the sun does begin to set i'm in place i'm ready to go and hopefully i can teach you a thing or two again tonight because i have a few ideas up my sleeve and fingers crossed the conditions pay off and I get those images in the bag. So my plan for tonight was to come here and photograph the sea thrift absolutely love sea thrift it's so nice when you come to the coast this time of year and it's just sort of blooming all over the the coastal cliffs and cliff faces and it's just such a beautiful thing because it adds so much color and so much interest to potential photo opportunities so this is what i was looking at the other night and this is what i was like i'm coming back here tonight to photograph this but now that i'm here i'm torn i'm so torn because unlike the other night it's quite been quite windy today so we've got quite a lot of waves surging into the shore which are then crashing against the rocks and the rock pools i was photographing the other day which would make for potentially some cracking shots at like one to two second exposures with the movement of the water creating that an angelic feel and sort of showing the beauty of this place or potentially some very quick fast shutter speed photographs to show the force of these waves against the rocks so I'm really torn because it's windy as well the sea thrift are moving around quite a bit which means I'm gonna to need to have really fast shutter speed I'm gonna to to bump my ISO up to get the images so I'm a little bit like do I stick to my original plan or do I go and photograph the crashing waves on the rocks it's a really difficult one really difficult I think, as I sort of mentioned in the other video last week, that's one of the challenges, especially when you come to a location like this that has got so much going for it. There's so many composition opportunities. It can be a real challenge narrowing them down and deciding which one to actually go for. So we've still got about two hours until sunset. So I'm gonna do some wandering around, look for some potential possible compositions and then make the decision from there. I guess that's one of the great things about arriving here early. I've got that time, so I'm not running around like crazy. Let's go explore. This is so frustrating. There is the conditions right now are, are too good. Do you know when you're at a location and there's stuff going on all around you and there's, you just don't know where to shoot? That's exactly how I'm feeling right now. I'm loving this scene behind me. The, the sun's just gone behind the clouds, but this was illuminated a minute ago. I'm loving the rocks going out here. There's a castle or an old house on top of the hill, which adds interest. 
a bit messy because there's a lot going on and ideally to get that shot that I'd want I'd have to be on top of this uh, cliff face here but it's just too steep and dangerous to go up I'm not risking it and then out at sea there's beautiful colours beautiful clouds very stormy very interesting very saturated and then behind me over here we've got this stunning cloud over the fields Although it's a stunning cloud, there's not much going on in the fields themselves or light on the fields themselves to give a good image. So I think I'm going to set up here and hope that the light will come out again and we'll get something interesting here. But I'm not sure if it will because that big cloud of the fields is now obscuring the sunset. <sighs> Very frustrating. I just, like I said, do you ever find sometimes you go to a location? and it's just so beautiful and there are so many opportunities that you just don't know where to shoot and you end up standing in one spot feeling incredibly frustrated and not knowing what to do because that's exactly how I feel just now but now that the sun's gone behind the clouds that beautiful rock formation that I came here to shoot tonight is now really standing out and really interesting ah! <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting so frustrated because I should actually be in awe just now but it's like, where do I shoot? And my hair is driving me mental. I'm so like everybody, I blooming need a haircut right now. I forgot to take a hair bubble with me, so it's driving me mental. It's one of those nights, too much opportunities, don't know what to shoot, getting very frustrated, and other things are driving me mad as well. But it's great to be out. It's great to be here. And it's great to be enjoying this stunning scene around me. Let's just, do you know, let's just take the camera out and try and get something work with the conditions and um, hope for the best. I'm really annoyed I never shot this image five minutes ago. That cloud has completely shrouded the sunset and there's now just no light and it looks flat and boring and disinteresting apart from this band of cloud and colour that we've got on the horizon and in the sky. So what I might do is put my filters on and try a long exposure. Try and make something out of this scene, even though I've missed the best of the light. I'm really hoping though that that sun will pop out from behind the clouds again and give me that light that I had five, ten minutes ago. I'm wondering actually if tonight's going to be all about moody clouds now. I was excited about tonight. I knew tonight was going to be a challenge because when I checked the weather forecast, it was forecast to be sunshine and showers this evening which is great for landscape photography because you get loads of interesting light, very changeable light, you don't know what's going to happen and that's really, really interesting and exciting. But it also makes it challenging because there is so much going on around you, so much interest and so much to photograph that it can be hard to narrow it down and get that one shot or, you know, that, that shots that you really want because the light is changing so fast and you start focusing on one thing and then whatever's going on behind you starts looking amazing but by the time you get there, anyway. I'm just waffling now because I'm, I'm frustrated, I'm frustrated. But I'm also excited because it's a challenge and I'm excited because I knew that tonight was going to be a challenge. So anyway, let's get some filters on and try and shoot this as a long exposure. But then we're going to get rid of those beautiful waves that we've got tonight. Maybe I'll take an image of both and um, show them both, compare them both at the end and see which one you prefer. You know when you like see something and you think it's going to make a good image and then it just doesn't so no, it's annoying because the light literally the light before i started talking and got my camera out was beautiful it might have just made this image but as i was saying it's quite a messy image there's a lot going on in it a lot of just uh, i'll show you it now but i'm not my best <laughs> Also, when I started taking that long exposure, just out of nowhere, this, this patch was wind free. Got my camera out, got my long exposure, so I started doing my long exposure and then the wind got up. <laughs> oh, tonight's one of those nights, isn't it, where like everything is just up against you. But I'm not going to give up. A lot of people would probably just feel the frustration and just head home, but I'm not going to give up. I'm going to head down to where I was the other night in that video last week and see what opportunities are down there. Even make this 
up. <laughs> I was looking over at the rock pools and I saw this perfect composition opportunity. The waves were coming in over the rocks, nice sort of waterfall type theme, waterfall type feeling going over the rocks. I tried to get onto the rock pools to, to get to this part of the rocks to try and get a photograph and the tide just out of nowhere has just come in big swell of water completely cutting off the rock pool <laughs> oh. I guess it shows you that even if you come to a location that you deem as having multiple composition and photography opportunities there's going to be times when the elements are against you and where it is just so difficult to get a good photograph. I'm really struggling tonight. Really struggling. <sighs> Look at that. Oh. Now I just need to find myself a composition amongst this incoming tide. I can't find a composition, like I'm not even joking. The clouds, the sunset, it's fantastic. It's so atmospheric, there's some beautiful rays of light coming through the clouds. But I can't find a composition, like I can't find a composition. What am I gonna do, man? Right, let, let's just let's just get the camera out and try. Unless we get about four grand interest, let's just try. That's all I can do. I'm determined to salvage something from tonight and we've got this beautiful cloud, <laughs> very atmospheric, very moody clouds behind the, the rock formation that I wanted to photograph tonight, beautiful beams of light coming through it, so I've just zoomed right into it, forgot completely about foreground interest, because to be honest, in a photograph like this, you don't actually want foreground interest, because the beauty is the ray of light coming in through the clouds from the sunset, casting on the sea. Uh, I'm not sure how these images are going to turn out, because we've got, I'm quite low down now, and the waves are sort of going over the horizon, but Hopefully one of these images are atmospheric or interesting and um, will pose some, some interest, like I say, and will have allowed me to salvage something from this evening, which has been a real challenge. So now I've got that in the bag, I'm going to walk around a bit more and try and find an image that will have foreground interest, in the hope that I can end tonight on a high, because it's been a roller coaster of emotions tonight. Um, a lot of frustration. A lot of difficulty, but um, I think this image I've just taken will have been worth it and the night's not over yet, so you, you got to keep at it, you've got to keep at it, you don't know what's around the corner. light just got better, the ray of light just came through that clouds. I'll just take another photograph of exactly the same scene. I was just away to put my camera away to move on, but I'm so glad I didn't because the rays of light coming through that now were just stunning. So beautiful. This image that you're about to see is better than the image you just saw. It's beautiful and it's made all this frustration and missed opportunities tonight well worth it. Wow. This is why I love being by the coast. So unpredictable, so challenging, but when you get that photograph at the end of it, 100% worth the motions of roller coasters. The motions of roller coasters? The roller coaster emotions. Oh my gosh, and the clouds now. Right, I'm going to stop talking, right? I'm going to stop talking because things are kicking off. I'm now the only one here so I can rant and rave and scream and be as excited as I want because things are changing 
Oh, oh, right, right, bye. The rocks were not working as I'd hoped. The light was phenomenal for like five seconds there. Like I'm not even joking. Phenomenal and it was reflecting on the waves and I missed it. <laughs> Gosh, the light's just changing so fast tonight. There's so much opportunities here. So you'd think we need to forget about foreground completely. Actually, oh. This is why, if you saw me here last week, why I stayed in that one position the whole night. Because rock pools and the sea change so quickly. Getting a good composition and keeping that composition is difficult. Like, the, the conditions are just changing second by second. Right, let's try again. Tonight, honestly, like, <laughs> probably the most exciting part of the night just happened. Um, the sunset, beautiful, you know, tones on the horizon that you get after sunset, those beautiful blues and purples, very atmospheric clouds tonight. Amazing conditions for photography. The sea and the tide were rushing into shore, causing these massive waves, this massive swell. So much atmosphere and interest going on amazing conditions and the seagulls and the you know herring gulls were were surfing the waves again beautiful silhouettes lovely fantastic photography opportunities but two young lads and another man decided to turn up and as I was pretty much at the car park I'm like I can't continue with this photography especially because they're running around and being silly and doing stupid things and I'm just like I'm not continuing my photography I definitely wasn't gonna vlog with these people here so, because so many people turned up, I know you probably think three people is not a lot, but I don't particularly like being in a busy place with all my camera gear, to be fair, especially somewhere like this. Um, I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to continue with the photography. So, discreetly, I took several handheld photographs on my camera, bumped my ISO up, no filters, very slapdash, very quick, because the conditions were just amazing. I know a lot of people are saying, Kim, why did you care that people had arrived? You should just carry on with your photography. And if I had somebody with me, I probably would, but I think there's that sense, I think, sometimes when you're in locations like this, when you've got expensive gear, of feeling slightly vulnerable when people turn up, especially young lads. I don't know what it is about young lads, but I'm just like, they're carrying on and being stupid, and I'm just like, I'm not going to continue with my work. Um, probably silly, because it's not like they were going to do anything to me or anything, but I'm just like, I thought it's like an embarrassment thing, or I, I don't know, I just don't like, don't like it. So, um... I'm going to go home and look through all the handheld images that I took. If any of them are any good, I will show you them now to end the video. But as always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. Tonight has been an absolute roller coaster of emotions. On the whole, it's been incredibly disappointing and frustrating. But I do hope that, that image I got with the sun coming through the clouds and that burst of light will have made tonight worthwhile. Of course tonight's been worthwhile. Coming out and doing stuff like this is a million times better than sitting at home twiddling my thumbs. Um, especially just now that we're still sort of semi in lockdown and you know our, our opportunities to do things are quite restricted. Getting out somewhere local to do photography is a great way to spend the evening. So it's not been wasted at all but it's been very frustrating. But I hope tonight has shown you the real side of landscape photography. The frustrations that we get the fleeting light, the missed opportunities, because it's not all fun and games, or 
you could say tonight was fun and games, but it's not always positive. You don't always get the photographs you want and it can be incredibly challenging. So tonight was a real insight into what it can be like on a frustrating night like tonight. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll hopefully see you all again next time. <laughs>